Greetings and welcome. I'm Psychic Medium Roberto and I truly hope you're doing well today. I'm humbled to be in the presence of spirit. Trigger warning, the subject matter is of a mature nature and deals with true crime events. Disclaimer, all cases are treated as alleged until proven in a court of law. Alright, so in this uh, episode of PMR Investigation, I'm looking at the suspicious death and passing of Richard Simmons. And I would like to thank um, Olive1427 for recommending the show. It did pop up on my dashboard, um, but to be quite honest, I do not know this character at all. Um, and upon uh, looking at the case, I've started doing research, and of course he was a well-known, famous fitness guru, let's say. I guess I don't spend enough time in the gym. Um, and of course, um, was very famous for what he did. And, uh, and some and many believe his passing is suspicious. So we will look at the case. I've done some prep work, and uh, but to kickstart, we're going to just look at Richard Simmons. Now, that's not his full registered name, and his uh, first name is getting upset with me because he didn't want me actually to type it. But anyway, um, Milton is his first name, um, official name, but uh, as far as his stage name goes, Richard Simmons, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so born July the 12th, 1948. And of course, when people have a dominant seven, and because the seven is in the month, which is quite significant, that's where the fame number comes from. Fame and fortune. Um, but in this case, fame. Seven is about fame. Okay. The fortune aspect, funny enough, does apply here as well. Ten, one fortune so fame equals seven and it's interesting people with sevens you know it's almost a calling um, for them to be in the spotlight whatever they're doing i mean of course uh, when richard started uh, you know there's aerobics on tv there's aerobics was the big thing and of course he got scooped up in that and his day is a 12, which is very good. Because the 12 3 is about himself, the individual, engaging with other human beings, people, creating a collective. One, two, three. So, good community number, engaging with people. I did read a bit of a blurb saying he didn't actually like. Um, uh, been around too many people or didn't have too many friends but the 12-3 certainly made him approachable soft on the eye easy to engage with okay um, so with the outcome 7 and the 12-3 we have the 19-10-1 so now this is the thing with him and he does have the physical numbers needed for what he was doing the 22-4 but that, as far as I can see in his date of birth, that physical aspect is just part of the process. In other words, a means to an end. So it would be his physical attributes as the instructor, teacher, etc. But he takes that and makes it a big thing, 19101. So that's quite an industrious number and business number that you can take an idea, 9. And you turn it into a transactional business tangible outcome 10 1 money and of course i would assume based on what i've read and seen he would have enjoyed some really good days financially all right so the 1910 one it also speaks about being the team player and i believe this is an important aspect in his case here because of course, when you have famous deaths and fame and fortune, unfortunately, in the hills of Hollywood, Hollywood Territory, 
uh, things go bump in the night. So not to get too personal, I will just relate his details as we know him in press. But I would just say having the four in the year that he's born would bring around issues of abuse, trauma and uh, depression. Okay. Or let's, it's not guaranteed. If you've got a 22 four, it's not guaranteed. But the propensity for that to occur will then occur if, for example, let me explain myself. Fours attract abuse as kids. Now, depending on who is in the circle of that kid, whether it's the mother or the father, uncle, aunt, etc., as we know, the periphery of family and possible abusers within abusive uh, households, that anyone that has a four, male or female adult, will then be prone towards abusing a 22-4 or a four outcome. Four is a mag is an unfortunate magnet in that sense, in the human aspect of how bad can humans be to other humans, right? And on the positive aspect of the 22-4 is um, about the builder, building big things, industrious things, like his brand. The 22-4 then combination with the big transactional elements, building his big brand is massive. I will just say, with the outcome that he has, the life path 1455, also alerts me that he could have actually gone bigger. But there are some shortcomings with the numbers like 415, 5, that could hinder someone's um, optimal success, let's just say. But regardless, he had his fame and fortune. The 14-5... Um, brings around the concept of import-export. So if he was well known around the world, there's no surprise because he has the 14.5. He is known locally for, with an outcome 5, international. So his brand travels internationally. Okay. So in terms of his uh, physicalness and athleticism will come from the 22-4 as well as the 7s. If I had to look at one last little negative thing about the 14-5-5, you know, it applies to men as well. That, And if women have a 14-5, the 14.5 is also a little bit of an unfortunate, let's call it human magnet, arsehole magnet. So the 14.5 tends to attract arseholes, idiots, unwanted attention, whether male or female. So I would imagine that part of his life as well, you'd have to be dealing with that as well. But in terms of his uh, first block year, these are power numbers, and or let's say very strong numbers, and he does have the power number 22.4. And there again, when you have a power number 22.4, speaks about a calling. People that have power numbers are called to do optimal work, if you want to look at it that way. And even though it might seem unachievable or virtually impossible, it can be achieved because you've got a power number. No task would be too small. So in a nutshell, that is Richard Simmons. Um, of course, I haven't done a deep dive in terms of everything he's done. I could see that he's done quite a lot, obviously. So I just want to put a preamble before we go to the chart. And this article here is believed to be his final interview and there is a date stamp there and I've got the date stamp there as well and we'll look at that now now because it plays a significant role in the build-up and lead-up to the passing of Richard 
So on the top here, we have People Magazine, right? Um, who, according to reports, interviewed him two days before his accident. So, in inverted commas, right? Uh, July 12 is where apparently he has a fall. We'll zoom in Nana. July 12 is where he has a fall, according to reports. But does not go to the doctor or hospital because it's his birthday, July the 12th. And he's born on July the 12th. But succumbs to the injuries somehow, or they even say a heart attack. And I actually didn't look at that idea when I called this out. That's nonsense. Okay, but we'll go deep on that one. So he technically then passes on the 13th, according to the current narrative. And this was just recently, July the 12th, 13th. Huh? So if we backtrack, and I believe this, so uh, whether the interview was on July 10, 11, or 9, in the zone, it's still a, let me just highlight it here. We can still use it as a 72-hour window um, into what is happening there. But interestingly, we'll note, and I'm going to draw a reference for you, and that is, um, we'll note on July the 10th, let's go in, July the 10th, July the 10th, we see triple eights. So here's a communication issue. So I'll look at it from a publication, media, people magazine, fodder magazine, fodder machine, fodder machine. So we've got triple eights. And we saw that recently in all the situation there in our favorite country, uh, England, with the uh, Kate Middleton joke show. Now, the day starts also with the 10-1. Now, that always alerts me to issues. You know, when you're dealing with high-level fame, money, bigger boss, the satanic circles, and you see this 10-1, there's problems. So, on the one hand, let's be fair. Let's be fair. On the one hand, 10-1 speaks about money. So was there money issues? Or 101 speaks to the collective organizations. Who's all involved in this? I almost wanted to say conspiracy. Um, but when I see 101 on a murder scene or a death scene, ladies and gentlemen, you better believe something is wrong. So, the reason why I'm saying it's quite interesting is People Magazine have done an interview with him moments before his death. On July the 12th. In fact, uh, let me just go back to July the 11th here, I beg your pardon. On July the 11th, the day starts with an 11-2. So now look at it from the uh, narrative People magazine go and interview him. Are they interviewing him or are they assessing him? I'll say it again. Are they interviewing him? So 17 8 is an interview. But surveillance is also 16 7. I know this might sound a bit far fetched. Is People Magazine involved in some way? Not involved, but are the springboard for information, whether whatever's published in the public, which is the bubblegum and fodder crap, versus what is happening with this person at the time of the interview and should the 10-1 people be concerned situation. We've had a look at Mr. Perry's passing. 
I always seem to get the last interview. Now, I want to just bring in something here. This little footnote on the theory of publications like People magazine, allegedly. So, in South Africa, uh, for many decades, there was apartheid. And the white supremacist at the time, uh, uh, during 1976, created a newspaper known as The Citizen. It's still running today. It's not operated by the same people anymore. However, the white nationalist government was using or created the newspaper as a with a army slush fund for international propaganda with the objective of deflecting the apartheid horrors that were happening in the country by promoting a positive stance of South Africa at the time. So here's a contemporary example of a newspaper in South Africa that was funded by corruption. All governments are corrupt, whether they white, black, Indian, whatever. All governments, people are corrupt. So still living today, the citizen was a pre-apartheid or a was a apartheid propaganda machine feeding fodder to the bubblegum and candy floss buyers. But what are they actually doing? So let's have a look here. The publication. The publication directly related to the interview. Yes, it's here. Yeah. July 29, 2024, came out um, 12 days after his initial accident. But we'll go deep on that accident scenario because that's also bullshit. So the publication goes out, date stamp, July 29, 2024. Here's a transactional murder number, 2911-2. These paparazzi guys... Uh, they don't do things by accident. 448. Power number. And we know they love their power numbers. Eh? In the middle of the day of this publication, we see an 89. Murder. Murder. 26.8. Nice staging for the candy floss nibblers. He slipped and hurt himself. And because of his age and what, what, and what, what, he succumbs to his injuries. Uh, let's not forget that he was a fitness freak. And accidents can happen quite easily, for sure. They always seem to happen in the bathroom at uh, convenient times. Now look at the next day. July 10, July 11. Do we see recognizable numbers here? 89, 26, 8, 89, 26, 8, and 11. Right? What now? Because we, we can almost use this as a reflection date for when they did the interview. Now we reveal, this is the beautiful thing about the summaries 369, is they reveal more information. And there's it there. We know they love their 44 eights and their 33 sixes and their 22 fours. And the 11 twos, paparazzis. So let's have a look. So already on July the 12th, 
we have a problem. And it's not an accident problem, by the way. Let's say for final problem. 19101 is our good friend Richard. No one's perfect, ladies and gentlemen, but no one deserves to be murdered. We see him in the middle of the day. In fact, we see him, of course, it was his birthday, of course. But what is revealed here? 27 9. Premeditated. There's no accidental numbers here. 13 4, 14 5. Nothing. This was not an accident. Whatever transpired on this day was intended to harm him. So we go down along the column to get the plus three plus six summary and revealing more information. Oh, looky, looky here. 22-4, the grand master plan. The grand master plan. So why was this instituted, ladies and gentlemen? I think our good friend there, Mr. Richard Simmons, was having a bit of a situation. Now, interestingly, when we get into the plus six zone, which is here, reveals always the actual horror that human experienced during this. Six is about the human. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, 18-9, murder. Right? Why? There's issues between two people here. or the, uh, You can say two people or one person and a group, 10-1. Resulting in a beautiful sacrifice, 33-6. Another one of them power numbers. They love it. They love it. Now, interestingly, in the plus nine zone, which is effectively what transpires on July the 12th, but gives a little bit more information. So squeezing that lemon a little bit more. So what do we have here? 28, 10, 1. There's arguments and blowout going on here. So whatever was transpiring, Richard was not happy about it. We see an outburst here, 33. There's arguments, 28, 10, 1. Ends in a ghastly death and yet I'm still not seeing any accidental numbers there's no accidents here this is final on July the 12th it's final already July the 13th we see a death hidden outburst it's reflected here outburst outburst and why are all these guys around there? Look at all this chitter chatter going on. Why would there be so much chitter chatter? Interesting to note the first publication um, of People magazine was published on March the 4th. March the 4th, 1974. We note the outcome here, 28-10-1. Coincidence or not? Twenty-eight ten one. Coincidence or not? So keep in mind, July the 10th, when the alleged interview happened in that zone, 
the technical reflection day will be July the 13th. So if we look at it on a reflective point of view, we see there's an unlawful act that has occurred, 11-2. 28-10-1. 28-10-1. Twenty-eight, ten, one. Who reported that? Who reported the status update on Richard Simmons at the end of the interview? Hmm. Now, if we go to Matthew Perry's. Mars, unfortunately. Twenty eight ten one. Beautiful fingerprints, especially media fingerprints. Uh, interesting. Let's have a look. In the zone. There is a 167 surveillance. And look at all these big daddy numbers 371019101. And here's a chair 37101 big daddy numbers. Twenty two four. Oof, they love it, eh? They love those power numbers. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm calling foul on this one. Um, he has a lovely energy. Never knew he existed until recently of his passing. It did turn my head. I had There was a bit of a moment. And then, of course, once again, thank you for suggesting the show olive 1427 you know you just can't judge a book by its cover huh all right ladies and gentlemen please give us your thoughts and comments i do appreciate you watching the show please stay safe stay well see you soon bye for now